Do we know when children really develop this sense of self that they are, you know, separate from, you know, everyone else who's around them? Is there, is there an age when, when that happens? Uh, there's a huge literature in developmental psychology about what it is to form the idea of a self. And if you're, you're seriously in analysis, you still haven't formed your sense of self, but keep going, keep going, come every morning <laughs> for an hour. So I, but, but the idea is that the, there are various skills that come online sequentially in predictable orders, and you might think those are marks of what it is to have what ultimately becomes a fully formed sense of self. What, what are some of those stages? So the, the capacity to recognize that an action on your part can bring a response from another is one of the first ways in which it's argued that there's a differentiation between self and other. So developmentally in a well-functioning, nurturing situation, a child who, an infant, early infant, who's in need of the basic comforts, which are basically food and warmth, expresses discomfort and that discomfort is responded to by something in the world. And there's a lot of developmental work which suggests that if you don't experience the world as responsive to your expressed needs, that is, if you are unfortunately spend your early days, and this is about days, in an environment where you're deprived of the sense of yourself as an agent in the world, that you never form what the normative Western conception of a healthy self is. So it depends very early on on the capacity for what can rightly noted as agency, the ability to recognize that something you do causes the world to change in response to what it is that you've done. Yeah, and and you know I've had I've had two daughters, so I've had two examples to sort of watch this sort of thing develop. And, and one of the, uh, to me, the remarkable things is, is watching uh, a child in the first year going from simply expressing needs and hoping, hoping that they get fulfilled to the point where they realize that the agent fulfilling those needs is another person um, who also has their own moods and their own needs. And, and gradually, uh, at least in my girls, I saw that happen between two and three years old to the point where by the time they were four-year-olds, uh, they understood that mom and dad might have moods and needs of their own. Uh, now I have a grandson, so I'm getting to, to recheck the evaluation of this and watch him as he goes through these stages as well. Um, but this is something that's familiar to, to anyone, anyone who's raised a child under any circumstances, is you see this gradual acquisition, uh, not only of a sense of self, but I think part and parcel of having a sense of self is to realize that there are other selves with whom you interact uh, around you, that there are other beings, and they are independent agents just like you are. 